Mount Everest is considered the premier destination for climbers, but the Himalayas are also attracting a lot of scientific interest. When you look at Sherpas, they're not necessarily athletically brilliant, but they are really good at using oxygen、uh, within the cells to produce energy and enable them to climb to high altitudes. Sherpas, Nepal's indigenous people, have lived high up these mountains for generations. Researchers at the London Clinic believe they hold the key to understanding why some people recover from oxygen deprivation, while others suffer from organ failure and may even die. The oxygen uh, uh, levels are not determined by how strong the heart is or by how good the lungs are, because we have machines here to help with breathing. We have machines here to help with the heart, and yet we have survivors and non-survivors. So the London Clinic has sponsored an expedition of doctors to collect a variety of samples, including blood, urine, and muscle tissue, from trekkers and Sherpas at Everest. Most of the tests are centered around nitric oxide, the molecule that controls microcirculation of our blood. Researchers hope to bring the Himalayas to the bedside. We may be able to manipulate the level of nitric oxide in the blood of people in、um, intensive care and alter the way in which they respond to low levels of oxygen. These treatments won't be available anytime soon, but doctors are optimistic that they're on the horizon. Jill Craig, Associated Press.